starts around 1 million euros, and the particular motorhome right behind me, with all the upgrades, goes for 1 million 70,000 euros, which is around 1 million 250,000 dollars. And now, without further ado, let's begin our tour. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful From the exterior, walk around the entire vehicle then we're gonna take you guys inside. First thing I wanna mention, this motorhome is built on a Mercedes Actros chassis. You have a 12.8 liter engine V12 that gets 530 horsepower. And check this out, Mikey. This vehicle does 11 and a half miles per gallon, even though it weighs 26 tons. That's crazy. Well, the Hummer does eight or nine miles a gallon, right? That's right, so impressive. And it's actually 12 meters long, four meters tall, two and a half meters wide, so it's definitely a big vehicle. Now, if we go around the side, Mikey, I love the contemporary lines. It's just the motorhome looks so modern and elegant, and we're used to seeing a lot of motorhomes that are a little bit more, let's say, old school, but this is not the case here, and check this out. It's so elevated from the ground. Look at the passenger side here. It's like solid, what, like six, seven feet up there. It's like climbing a ladder to get up. Exactly. but. Another thing I want to mention, the windshield on this thing is a little bit more shallow. It's almost like a little bit more sporty. Now that we're on the side, another detail I want to mention, it doesn't have side mirrors, it has side cameras. And we're going to show you guys how that works on the interior. Now, going this way, we have the first slide out here that kicks out about 50 centimeters. That's your living room area. And on this side, we have two folding chairs custom designed for this motorhome where you can store it right here. That's your storage compartment that connects all the way to the other side. And below here, Mikey, we have your hydraulic pumps. And right next to that is your split air conditioning unit for the entire motorhome. Super cool. Now, right in the center, we have this lit up staircase that leads you to the inside. Push of a button, you can actually close the staircase. It flushes nicely with the exterior clad. Above that, you have your door that we're gonna check out in a bit. Now coming here, if you actually look above the motor home, we have four solar panels, each producing 320 watts. So in total, you get 1,320 watts. And right here, Mikey, you have 200 amp each, in total 800 amp lithium batteries to store all that electricity. That way you can power all the electronics in this car without having the need to turn on the diesel generator. Now, Mikey, ready? Here's another cool detail I wanna point out. When you close this panel here, there's a nice cutout for your keypad, and I cannot show you guys this code, but... Wow. You can hide away your stairs just like that. That's sleek. It is super sleek, right? There you go. Now, Mikey, two more details here. Number one, these rear tires, they have steering as well. That way, when you're turning, the rear tires turn as well to help you with the turning radius of this long vehicle, which is super cool. And above us, we have this motorized retractable awning system with LED lighting on the steel legs, which is super unique. And above that is obviously covered, six meters wide, three and a half meters in depth. And on top of that, you have a secondary motorized screen here to lower down. That way, let's say you're having your meal down below here and you don't want to get the sun, you can actually avoid it through the shade. That's pretty cool. That, that thing is huge. It really sticks out far. Exactly. And another cool detail, I know too much about this RV now. When the wind gets up to 39 kilometers an hour, it automatically closes up since it doesn't have any supporting legs. Wow. Super unique, right? Yeah. Now, speaking of unique, this is amazing. This model has a small garage where you can park your smart car, which is incredible. It's also branded with the same color theme like the rest of the motorhome. And uh, it's amazing the fact that you can actually bring your own personal car wherever you travel. That's always been like my biggest problem with, uh, with RVs in general, because like usually you're out in like national parks or something, and it's like sometimes you want to drive on a dirt road, but you can't take these big cars. Or go to grocery shopping. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And in this case, this motorhome comes with this smart car here as well. This is your garage. It's all clad with stainless steel. You have access to some of your 
panels here and check this out Mikey the way you park it inside obviously currently we have it on the ramp and they have a tow hook here and just like that you pull the car inside and close this hydraulic door that's pretty awesome amazing right now Mikey let's wrap around and continue our tour I want to briefly talk about the color palette and kind of like the design elements of this motor home. They went with this nice simple white color and that's the signature dumbbell red and black combination right there where we have the glass panels. Over here we have more storage panels and access points. In this case, this is Mikey right here is where you have your heating system and access to your valves and plumbing and all that. They used Uponer. Uponer is one of the best in the industry. I wanted to point that out. And if we follow this way, Mikey, we have extra storage compartments. And down below is your 408 kilowatt generator, diesel generator, with a soundproof case there. That way, when it turns on, you don't even hear it inside of the motorhome. And what's cool about the system that they have is every time you need the generator, it turns on automatically. So you don't have to shift the button or turn the switch on. It's just automatically wired that way. Pretty cool. It's an American import also. That's right. Yeah. Now, Mikey, that's, this is the second door where it opens up to the storage unit that we showed earlier. Above that is your secondary slide out. This one is a little bit bigger. It kicks out about 70 centimeters and that's your kitchen right there. Now lastly, we have the driver's side here. Let's take a quick look. Obviously, we're gonna check out on the inside in a bit. I mean, it's up there. Yeah, it's high. It's really, really cool though. Overall, I love the exterior design. The whole motorhome looks so contemporary and elegant. It has a young vibe to it. You have a Mercedes chassis. You can't really go wrong with that. And that wraps our tour on the exterior. Now, I wanna open the door here. So you have eight stairs that takes you up, Mikey. Built-in handrail with LED lighting. You can see the latches, they're heavy duty. And I'll meet you guys inside. And we go straight into the living room area. Now the interior of this motorhome is stunning. In fact, Dembel uses an interior design firm that specializes in yacht design and their eye for beautiful finishes, wood clad details really shows in this interior. Now the first area I wanna cover is right behind me. We have this 50 inch TV, nicely recessed into this wood clad wall. And even the ceilings are covered with this exquisite material, mood lighting throughout and they also have their AC diffusers nicely tucked into these panels. That way you get a nice air distribution throughout the space. Now, I wanna cover this section here. This is your living room seating area. You have a built-in seating here with mood lighting underneath. And this is your first slide out, Mikey. You even have some upper cabinets here. Of course, your built-in speakers. It's just a cozy area for you to sit down and watch your TV since it's on a perfect angle. Now, in front of the seating area, we also have this table that's currently positioned as a coffee table and you can actually make it adjust it, turn it this way and have it as a dining table as well. On top of that, oh wow, you can lower it and raise it if you want. A lot of interesting features in this thing. Correct. Now, I also forgot to mention this. We have a skylight right in the center, bringing a ton of natural light to the space. They have built-in blackout shades also as well. And Mikey, all the glass in this motorhome is heated. That way, when you're heating the motorhome through floor heating or through your radiators that are on each side, even your skylights or your windows are heated. So you have a nice thermal envelope. I guess they just do that so like hot air doesn't escape out the windows basically, right? Exactly, or let's say you're laying down on the bed, you don't have a cold window right next to you. Makes sense. Amazing space. Now let's continue our tour. We have these two chairs currently turn this direction to your seating area. And obviously when you're cruising, you have it turned the other way around. But more importantly, Mikey, ready? I'm gonna lower it a tiny bit. There you go. Normally you would have these chairs leaning back so you can actually lower this queen size bed all the way down here. And that's your additional sleeping area. That's pretty cool. So at least four people can sleep in here. Comfortably. Yeah. And this section is super cool. They have roof heating here. That way you don't compromise the comfort even in this space, you have some built-in reading lights, another skylight detail there, plugs, kind of everything you need, another cozy spot. Yeah, it's really nice. And just like that, you tuck it up. Now, Mikey, let's check out the cockpit. Let's do it. All right. As we go in here, it's super spacious, and I gotta say this, the cockpit of this motorhome is truly stunning. 
you have so much space here and visibility is great. I'm currently sitting in the driver's seat and my dashboard here with two built-in screens. It looks like I'm driving a really nice Mercedes SUV. It doesn't even feel like a motorhome. You have your GPS here and we mentioned it on the exterior. Instead of side mirrors, you have side cameras. Obviously your vision is a little bit low here since we have the slide outs open right now. And Mikey, look at this. I mean, this is your gear. You have all this extra storage, obviously. All these seats that we're sitting on, all four seats, they are heated, cooled, and massaged. And don't forget, they're also on hydraulics, so. Air suspension. Air suspension, yeah. So it feels like you're floating on these. I mean, it's amazing. I'm sure it's super fun to drive this thing around and visibility is great. I don't know, it's like, I'm so impressed with this uh, motorhome. Yeah. Now, I wanna take everybody back again to the living room area and right across from the seating setup, we have the kitchen, super modern. You have gloss cabinetry throughout, glass countertops. And right here we have the Miele induction cooktop. Above that you have your tucked in kitchen vent. And here we have a nice LED channel lighting for the entire kitchen. Upper cabinets above. And Mike, I gotta show you this detail. Of course, these are soft clothes. Check this out. They have espresso cups branded with dumbbell pretty cool all their cups dishware everything is actually branded in fact I'm gonna show more in a bit down below the induction cooktop we have a melee oven and ready dishwasher drawer I feel like that's not common to see and uh, you recognize the branding so oh, yeah. made by Denbell we're gonna have to push Denbell to uh, give us some souvenirs to take home that sounds cool now Mikey let's check out this detail this cover plate comes off and there you go you have your modern sink there with a pop up faucet there you go nice and sleek and let's put this cover back on another good detail that i want to mention here also they have this awning window here that you can open up get some fresh air right i love those aluminum handles and check this out you either have buck screen automatic or your blackouts and that's every opening window on the whole unit, right? Exactly. Throughout the entire motorhome, everything is motorized. Yeah. All the curtains and everything. Now let's check out more cabinets. Down below the sink, we have additional cabinetry here. Everything is nicely compartmentalized. And they even utilize spaces like this one to create extra storage. Now, the last part of this kitchen is right here. This panel door opens up your fridge. Down below, we have the freezer. And that wraps our tour for the kitchen. We're back at the entry now, this is your main door. And right next to that, we have an additional door opening up the small closet space where you have your control for your AC generator. And this screen right here controls the entire motorhome. You can use it for your slide outs, awning system, doors, exteriors. You can control anything from here. Now following this hallway, we have a coat closet here. And the first door on my right hand side goes into your bathroom. Now like the rest of the motorhome, this bathroom here has some of those yacht finishes with the curved walls, LED lit mirror, chrome details here with your faucet, nice bowl sink. This toilet right here, Mikey, is also heated. It's motorized. I mean, this is incredible. You have an LED lit mirror here for your makeup or when you get ready. Mm -hmm. Heated towel racks with this Corian stone back wall and even the towel has a dumbbell branding. Super cool. It has to. Has to, right? Mood lighting here, the amount of details. And of course, right behind me, we have the vent on right now, is your walk-in shower with a massive rain head above. Even your shower head is actually a good size. Yeah, and it's not small in there either. Go go inside. Let's check it out. You have chrome fixtures here. I mean, it's a good size. And on the back, you actually have shampoo and edge here with LED lighting. Yeah. I mean, they thought about it, everything. And last part, Mikey, this door right here opens up to your closet for your bathroom. And down below, you have a washer and dryer which is something you gotta have. Now, at the end of this hallway, we gotta show this detail. Remedizio mirrored pocketing door. I said mirrored because you can actually see yourself. It's like a nice full-size mirror yeah. that closes off your bedroom. Mikey, come on inside. Now, this space is just as cozy as the rest of the motor home. I love the mood lighting that they have throughout around the bed setup. You have two massive windows on each side bringing natural light. Again, they're heated. And of course, you have your bug screen, automatic shades, black house, everything you need. Mikey, just like the yachts that we've been seeing, they have the same stainless steel reveal detail 
around this window opening that looks exquisite. Behind that, we have the grill for the radiator, nicely hidden behind this wood paneling throughout the room. Yeah, it's really nice, and you mentioned it was uh, looked like a yacht, but it reminds me of Ventador, a Tankaway yacht we put on the channel a while back. Exactly. Um, Same detail. Italian yachts, but if you haven't seen it, go check out that video. Make sure to check it out. Yeah. I mean, Mikey, overall great space. I love the bed setup here. So cozy. And behind the bed setup, we actually have all these doors that serves as your cabinetry and your closet space. In fact, the one right in the center is actually deep that goes down a little bit so you can hang your dresses, pants, clothes, all that good stuff. Wall sconces on each side. We have the nightstand here. Overall, beautiful bedroom setup, nice and cozy. Now, so far we saw the exterior and the interior of this motorhome and there's actually one more thing left. I think we should take it out on the road and see how it drives. I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see, from up here, the world seems small, we can sit together, it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be. We're gonna start our tour at the exterior of this motorhome. I like the silver color and they have some logos and graphics also throughout the RV as well. If you look on this side, you can see the massive windshield and on each side you have these oversized side mirrors with cameras. And in fact, Mikey, right in the center, we have additional cameras and more cameras around the sides of the RV. That way you get that 360 bird's eye view from the inside screen. Now. Right in front of me, we have this section here, and actually, engine is not located here. Engine is located on the back, but this door opens up to the 10K generator, so I wanted to mention that. And like we said at the beginning of the video, this is their Performance S model, which is their top of the line motorhome. Now, Mikey, let's take a quick look here. This is our main entry, and I'm gonna talk about the details here in a bit, but first, I wanna cover the center garage. This design here is one of the most unique aspects of this amazing motorhome. You can actually park your car or your supercar right in the center. And what's so great about the system is the fact that it's super easy and it's patented from Walkner Mobile. Yeah, Ennis and I came across this article a few months ago that had this uh, RV in it. And we couldn't believe that there were RVs out there that had full-size vehicles that could fit inside of them. Absolutely. In fact, in that article, they had a Bugatti Chiron going underneath this same model, which was super fascinating. And uh, here we are in Germany. Yeah, we had to come see it in person. Anyway, uh, show us how this works. This is super cool, Mikey. So you have a steel floor plate that essentially slides into the motorhome. And the way they accomplish that is through hydraulics, right? If you look here, Mikey, you have these steel legs that basically raises up the motor home so you have a better ceiling clearance. And after that, push of a button, your steel floor assembly slides into the motor home, hydraulics raise up, and you're ready to drive off. Yeah, pretty pretty uh, interesting. I didn't know anything like this existed. It's, it's amazing. I mean, you can bring your supercar anywhere you go. Yeah. Now, Mikey, it doesn't end here because if you look above us, we have a motorized, massive awning design that comes out. So. This floor assembly here can essentially serve as your covered patio space. You can put your outdoor furniture here once you pull your car out. And what's great is that, let's say you have a full dining and outdoor furniture set up here and you wanna leave your RV to go somewhere. Press a button, steel assembly goes inside. You have it nicely covered. You don't have to move anything. You don't have to change your outdoor uh, seating setup. Yeah. And then when you come back, push up a button, it comes out again. Yeah, it's really cool. And not to mention, if you don't wanna keep a car in here, you could probably have like, several motorcycles, you bicycles. could have bicycles, you could have anything. It gets better, Mikey. Let's take a quick look. Inside of this section here is heated. And you actually have your electrical panels, few pumps and other stuff that you can access and service. And like I mentioned earlier, the center garage design is patented by Walkner. Now, what I mean by that is, if you look at vehicles this size, 
conventionally, they have a long beam that runs the length of the entire vehicle. But if you look at this motorhome right in the center, it's all empty because it has a H-shaped steel frame that runs in the middle, which allows this garage to be all open and thus the patented garage system where you can take your Porsche anywhere you want. It's pretty it's, unique. It's amazing, right? Now, Michael, let's continue our tour. We have another storage area here, some outdoor furniture. I know you're gonna like this. A little gas grill. That's right. Nicely built in. And going to the back of this motor home, this is where we have the engine. Now, before we cover that, three and a half ton tow hook, so you can bring your jet ski, four wheeler, whatever you want. And check this out, Mikey, ready? This is another distinct detail of this motorhome. So what are the advantages of having the engine at the back of the vehicle? Number one, cockpit is extremely quiet when you're driving, super smooth. Number two, because the engine is located here, you get a better steering angles and yeah. turning radius because tires have more uh, space to move around. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm curious, I guess with a full-size vehicle in the middle of the car, I'm sure your center of gravity is uh, very balanced when you're driving. So you're, I'm sure it's a much smoother correct. driving experience. You're absolutely correct. And then uh, this is a Volvo engine, 460 PS, 460 horsepower. You have this section here where you have some of your tools nicely attached. Another great thing about having the engine on the back, easy to maintain. You don't have to go through the motor home. And uh, 460 horsepower, pretty amazing. 350 liter fuel capacity. Now, coming to this, side of the vehicle. We have additional storage area. Again, more outdoor furniture. This is where we have the AdBlue. And now let's talk about the slide out. 50 centimeters deep, 10 meters wide. This adds five square meters of extra interior space to this motorhome. And look at the size here, Mikey. I've never seen a slide out this big. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to justify from the exterior, but once we go inside, it's uh, much clearer how much space it offers. It's almost the entire length of the vehicle. I mean, vehicle is only 12 meters long. It's two and a half meters wide and 3.85 meters tall. So it's almost the entire length. And again, gives a lot of interior square footage. Now, we have more additional storage areas here. These are some of your tanks and disposal lines, your fuses, all that good stuff. And vehicle comes with an 800 liter fresh water tank, 600 liter black water, 300 liter toilet tank. So it's super self-sufficient. You have everything you need. Yeah, and a lot of you actually might be wondering, any RV enthusiasts out there, typically the space down in the bottom is utilized for kind of cargo space storage where you put your suitcases, that kind of thing. But the interior of this is so spacious. They have full-size closets. They have so much extra space that I haven't seen on any other RV. So, so much storage area. Yeah, so you don't really need that. And you can always, you know, if you don't have a car, you still have plenty of storage space still. Absolutely, Mikey, well said. And this particular model right here was actually built for a Mini Cooper. Although we have a Porsche 911 here, with Mini Cooper, obviously you will get way more space here. You can put additional few bikes. You can access it from each side. Yeah. And this patented design here is such a unique aspect of this brand. Mikey, they have a video where they lift up the entire vehicle, so it sits on four hydraulic poles, right? The frame is so sturdy, even with the hydraulics raised and the vehicle lifted, all these components, doors, latches, everything closes perfectly, which means car doesn't flex at all. Now, continuing our tour, we have an additional storage area right underneath the driver's seat. We have a few batteries here. In fact, since we saw the batteries here, I wanna mention right on top, we have solar panels that provides 2,400 kilowatts of energy, and we have battery packs that has 1,800 amp capacity, which is amazing. And we have the front door right here. Mikey, check this out. You have a few latches here for extra security. Corian Steps takes you inside. I'll see you guys up there. All right, everyone, here we are at the cockpit. Nice and spacious here. I'm six foot tall, and as you guys can see, ceilings are really high here, spacious, nice welcoming space. Now, I wanna first talk about the cockpit. Mikey, let's get a close up. I'm gonna take a seat here. You have this massive windshield here that gives you great visibility. All the surfaces are clad with Alcantara or leather, so it's nice and welcoming here. Upper cabinets, LED lighting, and since you sleep inside of this motor home, you have automatic shades and curtains throughout the blackout space. And looking at the driver's side, again, it's very spacious. Seats are extremely comfortable. You have your touch screen here. And this car is also capable of adaptive cruise control, lane assist, emergency brake, all that safety features. 
and throughout the screen, you can pretty much control all the functions of the vehicle. Now, in terms of the seats themselves, they're heated, cooled, and check this out, Mikey. You also get a massage feature. That's awesome, you gotta have that. You gotta have that, right? Overall, driver's side is great, nice and spacious. How about your seat? Uh, it's really comfortable, and uh, I love how massive these windows are. It feels like you can kind of see everything if you're so high up off the road. Um, but exactly. something kind of unique, I don't know if most motorhomes have this, like right underneath my seat where my legs would usually go uh, are the stairs. So There's a motorized flooring there that covers that space. That way, uh, when you have the motorhome parked, you can utilize that space, and uh, it's just a nice safety feature. Yeah, it's really nice. And Mikey, we got one more super cool detail here. Ready? I love this thing. So, obviously these chairs can be adjusted and turned to the other side. And we're ready for this. As someone who loves working like myself, can get some work done in this space here. Yeah, so right behind me they have this little cabinet that has a HDMI um, and a few other plugs so you can connect your computer to it. And uh, it's a great little workspace when you're, you know, at your campsite or wherever you park. You have the perfect seat. You're a little bit detached from the seating area. Mikey, this is awesome. And when you're done, you put your keyboard away here. And then, um, let's see, let's lower this thing. There you go, it tucks nicely. And... Perfect. You're done. All right, let's continue our tour. Right behind the cockpit, we have the seating area. Very spacious. You can probably sit eight to 10 people here very comfortably. You have the built-in dining table right in the center. And above that, this trim detail with LED lighting and built-in speakers. Overall, great space and very warm. Yeah, and uh, earlier we actually closed the slide out on this side, and I was really impressed by how much space there is even when it's closed, or it's like in driving configuration. Absolutely, you can still utilize the space even with the slide out uh, pulled in, yeah. which is amazing. And Mikey, right across from your seating area, push up a button, you have a motorized TV that comes up. Above that, you have all these upper cabinets, and down below, we have more base cabinets. Now, Mikey, I wanna talk about the window designs here. Two awning windows that opens up so you can get some fresh air coming in. And check this out. Buck screen. Blackout. I find it really satisfying that that window perfectly clears the garage door also. Absolutely, and you can just leave it open. It serves as a little roof, yeah. even during rain. Now, we have another window on the other side, Corian floors here. Another detail I want to mention. Ready, Mikey? That's a bar stool, but it also serves as a little side table. You have a carved in cup holder here. Could have thought of everything. They thought of everything, right? And I almost forgot this detail, but I just recognized it. This is a scale model of a same style RV. Look how detailed it is on the inside. And it has a slide out too that comes out. Oh, even even cool. has a little coffee machine. Exactly. And uh, they have this exact model right outside of the factory as well. So they still have this RV, they still own it. Very cool. Now, that's it for the living room area. Mikey, let's go this way. Cabinetry continues. Beautiful wood veneer on the walls and throughout the cabinetry. And another detail I wanna mention, Mikey. Look at the countertops here. There are these slits. Those are your radiator outlets. And look at these. Those are your air conditioning outlets. Nicely blended into the cabinetry and the countertops. So it diffuses air and blends it in nicely throughout the interior. Yeah. Now, we have more cabinetry here. I love this glassware design with the racks, LED lighting. Below that, you have perfectly organized dish set that has their own custom locations. So nothing moves around as you're driving. And all the cabinets, Mikey, I'm sure you've seen it. All these handles lock, so you don't have any rattle as you're driving this vehicle. Now, let's cover the kitchen, which is super cool. You literally have everything you need here, starting with the sink. You have your Corian countertops, induction cooktop, another on a window here, and Mikey, we need a close up. I thought this was super cool. Dishwasher drawer above the countertop. Yeah. So it's nice and easy to access. You don't usually see dishwashers in uh, RVs, do you? No, not only that, but I just like the cabinet one. I don't know, I almost want to put this in a regular home. Yeah. On an upper cabinet, just for convenience. And I mean, look at all this. They have spice racks here, mood lighting, and behind us, your Siemens oven, additional cabinetry, space is perfectly utilized, and of course, no kitchen is complete without a fridge. We have to have it. We have that here. Now, continuing our tour, you can seal off the common areas. 
through this pocket door here. And look, there's no uh, movement here besides the handle. Yeah, it just doesn't. So it's not gonna rattle as you're driving as it's tucked in. This is such a cool detail. We have to show this. It's currently not prepped, but those are small bunk beds that goes into cabinetry. So you can sleep additional people here if you would like to as a memory foam. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's awesome. Now, more mood lighting throughout, and this is where we have the vanity setup. Same countertops are also here. Nice backsplash detail. You have some upper cabinetry, more mood lighting, and of course, your sink design. And right across from that, first glass door opens up to your water closet. Corian floors goes all the way in. And in fact, Mikey, all the flooring throughout the motorhome is heated as well, so it's nice and comfortable. And this toilet here has every single feature that you can think of. It's heated, has a built-in bidet, all the controls are here. Behind that, you have a heated towel rack, which is super cool. And right here, Mikey, you have a nice vent. And they left the shower glass a little bit lower, that way all the moisture can escape the shower and go through here. Now, before we check out the shower, right above us, we have a skylight that you can crank open. And just like all the windows, we have a blackout or a screen option if needed. Glass door number two opens up to the walk-in shower, Corian base, chrome fixtures, rain head, this starlight ceiling detail, recessed lights. So you have a small mirror and a hanging shelf. And I mean, it's pretty good size. Again, I'm six foot tall and nice and comfortable here. Yeah, I was blown away by the size of, uh, I think also the fact that it's glass too. Typically they'll put like little doors on these RVs. It feels much more spacious than most do. And look, you can't move anything. Nothing rattles. Yeah. Now, Mikey. Let's see another pocket door here going into your bedroom. Now, what's so impressive about this bedroom is number one, the space. And number two, normally these motorhomes that have the built-in garages, they end up putting the garages right at the end of the motorhome. And sometimes that makes them compromise the ceiling heights or the space in the bedroom setup. But that's not the case here. We only have the engine. That's why this bedroom is so spacious. Again, just like the living room area, you have a motorized TV that pops up, two awning windows with the same built-in screen and blackout shades. Again, nice and spacious room. Right above us, we have this built-in starlight detail with a skylight right in the center. And Mikey, you can actually open the skylight even during rain because it lifts up straight. That way it's still covered, but you can get the ventilation. And obviously we have the blackouts here, screen, all that good stuff. And look at the cabinetry in this bedroom. You have cabinets everywhere and you have a lot of space to hang your clothes. So like behind this full-size mirror setup here, that's additional cabinetry. I mean, this is incredible. They literally utilized every single space in this amazing motorhome. Now, so far we saw the exterior and the interior, and I think what's left is we should take this thing for a ride. Let's do it. Let's Take it for a ride. Here we are on the roads of Rivertel, and this motorhome rides so smoothly. It's incredibly quiet here. Again, thanks to the engine being located on the back, Views are amazing. This massive windshield really elevates the experience here. Front cabin is very comfortable, very spacious. And we have Max, who is the owner's son, driving us around. I don't know, life is good. We can't complain. And this motorhome certainly delivers. This is a Berkshire XLT 45A floor plan. This is a $475,000 motorhome, but at this dealership, you can buy it for $399,000. Starting with the front, has this really modern design. I love these massive tail lights. We have the school bus, kind of uh, side mirrors on each side, obviously massive windshield. So you get all that natural light come in. I guess you see where you're going. We're gonna be saying a lot of things throughout this episode that any RV fanatics out there are gonna be like, these guys don't know anything. And we have no problem admitting it. And we have no problem admitting it. So leave us any comments if we get anything wrong. We, we want to learn how to, how to tour these things. Absolutely. So now, but we do know a couple things about it. There's a release button on the side here. And this is where you have your 10K generator. It actually pulls out. In fact, it's kind of a heavy duty assembly. You can step on it to clean your windshield if you need to. But uh, overall, just a very clean design up front. And Mikey, let's go this way. So we have 
these steps coming down for your main entry 30 inch door so it's pretty spacious dude you even get a screen i just realized this detail oh, yeah this is cool it's we don't want to give too much away in there so let's let's okay. close it yeah, yeah that's yeah. right that's right but there these are actually uh, automated uh stairs that come out steps that come out exactly keyless entry if you need to we have an awning design for the front uh, main entry and as we continue to the back obviously we have these slide outs to kind of maximize the interior square footage right now we have them on this one also has awning the other one does too mikey i know you missed this probably you ready oh i missed i missed nothing outdoor tv with a sound bar this is cool yeah no it's great amazing all right i'm gonna go down there because we're all about details let's see what we got here so I believe this that, is that is a freezer, fridge, freezer. Fr freezer, yeah. And then it actually has a slide out, I believe. It's yeah, you got to pull both of them up, comes right out. This is cool. All right, so that's number one. If I don't hit my head, let's see. I guess see. we should have probably uh, put it in travel mode before we did this, but. I'm committed, Mikey. Yeah. Extra storage. This is cool. The other side. There you go. This is the one that has the slide out tray. Look at all this storage. This is incredible. Yeah, you could fit like five Jasons down there. Jason, get it. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Another shocking thing about this RV, it gets eight miles an hour. How's that even possible? Eight miles a gallon. Dude, there's more doors. This is crazy. Let's see, quickly. Uh, Water heater, I think. And yeah, it has like a dirt devil system in there that's like, uh, puts everything in like a centralized location that you can just empty it. This is actually the, the bedroom slide out. So you get a little bit more of a, a kind of a bedroom space let's see what else obviously it looks super cool on the outside i don't know what that was your batteries <laughs> here so on the back we have the engine access this has a 450 horsepower uh, diesel engine it gets eight miles a gallon which is how is that even possible yeah. hummers get eight miles a gallon it has a 150 gallon tank right that's right yeah that's so crazy you can cover some ground in this thing absolutely all right lastly of course you have your tow hooks here Fifteen thousand pounds i believe this is really cool I mean, it's like a home. Look at all your home runs and then your shutoff valves for each one of the faucets or fixtures you have. What's that red thing? I think that's your water filtration system. Even this like little- uh, Outdoor shower. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And let's take a shower for us. Not now. Uh, all right. Another thing, these uh, rear, rear reels. Whew, I bend down a lot, <laughs> dude. One second. Let me tell you, I'm a mess. Another thing here, these rear tires actually steer. So considering the size of this thing, it's nice to have that feature for easier turns. Yeah, I think it just overall improves your uh, turning radius a little bit. That's right. It looks like we have awnings on this side also, yeah? I mean, it's all about making the best out of, the, I guess, both the outdoors and the indoors. Let's go Let's inside. Let's see what else we got. I think that's it. Let's go inside. Super spacious. We have the passenger seat here. Mikey, let's start with this one. I, I learned it's called the navigator seat. Okay. Navigator seat? Yeah, this is where the navigator sits, all right? I guess we're getting educated on this one. Well, while you were figuring that out, I figured this one out. It's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, super cool. Navigate all day from there. <laughs> the driver's seat is, is even better. I mean, I have a pretty nice car. This seat, it like, cannot be even compared to my S-Class. This thing is extremely comfortable. And you might think from the outside that this, this thing is intimidating to drive but you feel super connected to the RV. And because you have this massive windshield, you kind of see everything so clearly. I mean, you have shades on each side, a uh, beautiful dashboard assembly, two screens. This thing has a, a autopilot generated controls. It has automated shades around the entire thing. This is incredible. Fans on top to get a extra ventilation, TV right in the center. I mean, for love of God, we have upper cabinets up front. This is amazing. Yeah, uh, and also to your left, show the people what that is. So to Ennis's left, there's a there's an equalizing system that will basically, uh, what, it's like an air suspension? Yeah, like a, not air suspension, hydraulics. Yeah. That levels up the car. It'll level off everything in the entire RV uh, when you're at a campsite or when you're driving. Amazing, we even have the cup holders, please. Right. Let's, don't forget that. All right. Now let's talk about this back. Look how spacious this, this is. This is ridiculous. This is insane. Like you can have 12, 15 people here, like no problem. Not that you'd want to. I'd want Not to be in here alone, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. I was actually going to say, let's start with the kitchen first. Mikey, there's one more detail. We gotta show this, turn around. The drop down bed they have here. This thing so, is so cool. This thing can actually sleep two, four, six people just on beds. 
to some beds. But there's a sofa here that turns into a bed. Obviously, you can use that as a bed. So you can sleep, what, 10, 11 people here? Easy. It's incredible. Yeah. Look at this kitchen. I mean, is this a compromised kitchen? Look at this. You got a full-size fridge. Brand new. And freezer. Brand new. That's right. And little details like this. You know, because you're driving, you got a little lock right there. I love those things that are just the, the securing mechanisms. I grew up like sailing and I loved all the latches and yeah. stuff. So nothing would fall over when you were underway. I mean, I guess you need it when you drive, you know, across the country. Yeah. Um, let's see. This is cool. So they have this cabinet here, but they have that lock on this side. Mikey, I don't know if you can show in case, uh, you know, you have stuff in there. And you don't you don't want it to roll out. That's electric, the, electric latch. That's right. Great countertop space. You have induction, uh, microwave above. You've got crown molding detail on top. I mean, are you serious? This is incredible. Um, let's see. We love these. Like this is like a high uh, amenity on these luxury homes, like these half dishwashers. You yeah. have it right here. For, for you know, what? One tenth of the price of the homes we see? Maybe more. I mean, the homes we tour are, you know, yeah. 10, 15, $20 million. It's been a while since we've been in a $4 million home. A lot of cabinets. I really like this uh, recessed in LED lighting into the countertops. This is cool. So, you, you know, you want to make the best out of your countertop space. Right underneath this, look at the size of this kitchen sink. Yeah, farm sink, right? Farm sink, that's right. And right on the other side, dude, they thought of everything. They have a window for ventilation. A lot of, a lot of vents in here. So above, I think we have four different vent accesses with uh, fans attached. Yeah. So if you're cooking in here, uh, all these are electric. You push a button, they open up. They and... kind of suck more air, yeah, you know, exactly. you, so you can circulate in here. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, last part of this, you have a TV, right? Check what? this out. Oh, Flash. there you go. A little safe. Storage, bottle rack. Panic room. No. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. Now, down below you got your sound bar. Electric fireplace. I mean, Seriously, why would you get a condo if you can get one of these and just stay inside? This is incredible. All right, let's look to the other side. Your dining table. Obviously, these are also extra storage. Turn into a bed if you need to. Mm -hmm. A lot of windows. Every bit of space is utilized. These things are soft close. It looks like we missed some lighting down here too, but... We did. Let's see. You know, that's got to be... Oh, oh so you went uh, in theater mode. There you go. You have wall light. Wall light. There we go. There you go. I think we have everything back on now. Perfect. Uh, I love the ceiling treatment here. Additional seating, cup holder, perfectly positioned to our TV. They told us something that's really important. I know Mikey's gonna dig that detail as well. So RVs do get hot, you have a lot of windows. So you have, let's see, where are they? You got solar shades. If you wanna just block the heat, then you have blackouts. Yeah. You well, wanna get that privacy. Yeah, also you go to a lot of campsites shared by people. You never know where you are. That's right. It's always kind of a weird feeling when you're really well lit on the inside and you can't see out. So you just want that privacy, you know? Gotcha. Good point. We continue? Let's do it. Also, ceramic tile floors, they're heated. Come on. That's yeah. incredible. It's uh, hydronic heating throughout the whole the whole thing. That's correct. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. So. This looks like some cabinetry here or storage, but uh, no. There's two bunk beds here. A little bunk room. With their own uh, windows, own TV. Uh, another one down below with USB, HDMI, everything you need. And you can actually fold this one up and use this as like a storage closet, you like know, a, yeah, space. Yeah, like a, like a primary closet. In a, show us the space in there, get up there. Mikey, if I get up there, my audio is gonna separate to the right. I don't know if I can make it down. I mean, I can easily sleep. Well, yes. we forced Jason to get in there and get some B-roll, so enjoy that. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy that. I mean, I wouldn't mind staying here at all. This is awesome. All right, right on the other side. So this motorhome has two full bathrooms. Full. Actually, Mikey, why don't you go in? Because I feel like I'm gonna like cram the space a little bit. So your toilet setup, your vanity, extra open shelving, your ventilation, upper cabinets, extra fan above. Look at this walk-in shower. In the, get in the shower. Show us space this. So like, this is amazing. This is actually a really good sized shower with a tile back wall. Climb in, some climb natural in light. You want me to get in there? Yeah, yeah. My lens isn't quite wide enough to okay. show. So this is what I love about this. There's two details here. Number one, this folding. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Bench. Bench. Second thing, you know how you run your water on your shower till it gets hot so it's ready for you? You press this button right here and you wait till your water gets the perfect temperature 
So as soon as you turn it on, you have that perfect temperature, uh, yeah. so you don't waste any water. You only have about what, like 150, 200 gallons of clean, something like that. Clean I think Michael water. mentioned it, some somewhere around there. Yeah. So you don't want to waste any of that waiting for your water to heat up. So you push that button. Once it gets hot, you release it, and you got instant hot water. I don't know why they don't do that in homes. I know. We we actually talked about that. Yeah. He was like, I want this system in my home. Exactly. It's, it's crazy. All right. Back bedroom. There's a king size bed here. Primary bedroom. Primary bedroom. Keep in uh, mind, we're basically in a car. Basically in a car. <laughs> Mikey, let's show this. We have a sliding door here, right? Kind of serves as like a barn door, so it tucks to the wall. King size bed here. I mean, ton of cabinetry. And look, a lot of people would say like, you feel cramped in these things. We don't, and we're big dudes. Like, yeah. we feel extremely comfortable here. TV here, more cabinets, drawers. I mean, look at this. Everything soft clothes. Really nice. Also, we have a fan in here, which is I've never never seen in even in RVs. Honestly, it makes perfect sense. Think about it. You're in a colder temperature. You leave your windows open. This circulates the air. Yeah. So you don't have to have your AC on. Something something really cool. And it's actually lay on the bed. And if you look up above you, there's a little panel there with all the controls. Oh yeah, reading light, a bedroom light. Well, you can actually turn off the whole RV. You can turn on the generator from there. Uh, Very nice. That's super smart. Yeah, for sure. I like those reading lights they have there. You have window on each side, kind of for extra lighting and ventilation. This is incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. Now, take a look at this bathroom. This is even more insane. Double vanity, two sinks, uppers, mirrors everywhere. Your toilet set up, more windows. I didn't even know RVs have these things. Uh, stacked washer what? and dryer. I know you didn't sell those. Those are like full size too, almost. This is insane. You literally have everything here. Yeah. Um, I love that detail. And lastly, you have the same walk and shower with the same features, natural light from uh, above. This is incredible. I just, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, let's go back to the living room real quick. I, I, uh, I want to see that one more time before we're done. This is really cool. I mean, the fact that we are walking around this comfortable with this much space, this is insane. Yeah. And you're what, like six, two, six, one, six, one. <laughs> six, six, seven. <laughs> Yeah. And I mean, I'm, yeah, I mean, I have so much, even right here, look, no issues. By the way, I think we forgot to mention these seats turn around as well. So you kind of get yeah. the best out of your amenities. As soon as you amenities. pull up to your campsite, you turn those around and then they just become interior seating. And I mean, look, you just take a seat here, enjoy, have a meal, work on your edit. I don't know. I feel like Mikey's really digging this lifestyle. Yeah, I think this is, this, I was born for this. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's basically it. Huge thank you to Michael from Dennis Dillon RV for uh, allowing us to tour this amazing motor home. They got a ton of inventory here. Mikey, what did he say? Uh, normally they would have up to 750 uh, RVs in their inventory. Yeah, so this is the largest RV dealership on the West Coast. Typically they have 700 plus in their inventory, but they're down to like 68. Because of COVID and how much demand there is on yeah, motorhomes. Yeah, COVID has skyrocketed the demand for motorhomes, but it makes sense. You get this huge space. You get Seclusion. Travel anywhere you want, drive anywhere you want. You know, even our even our editor Dal is like, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one of these so I can I could go right edit where I want, you know? Honestly, what I'm shocked about it is the fact that you have all your amenities that you would have in your own home. Washer dryer, dishwashers, full kitchen, induction. You literally have everything. This 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 uh, motorhome is just so impressive. Yeah, and you could be sitting out in the Mojave Desert or in Yosemite, getting your work done. You know? I'm getting inspired here, Mikey. <laughs> I know. I'm just I'm trying to I'm trying to give you. Uh, Mikey's trying to push me to this direction. I'm, I'm trying to let these. you imagine how you can use these. You're like, I could be at Yosemite doing work. Yeah, know? this is amazing. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video.